Latin America is famous for its music, delicious food, breathtaking scenery, and of course, salsa music. But it's also home to approximately 450,000 Jewish people. Here in London's hip Camden town, young Jewish professionals were given the opportunity to learn more about the immense contribution Jewish people have made to the region. The special event entitled Una Noche Inside Jewish Latin America was hosted by JDC Entwine. During the night, attendees learned salsa moves, sampled Argentinian wine, and heard from Marcelo and Nicholas, Argentinian Jews who work for JDC. I grew up in a very healthy atmosphere, very integrated in, my, in a Jewishly and also with the rest of the society. As I said in the conference, the 90s, I was very marked with the economic crash in the 90s and 2000s. But as soon as the country recovered in the second half of the 2000s, uh, Jews went to normal again and institutions start to thrive uh, again. During the night, attendees learned about the widespread social work Jewish organizations in the region have been involved in. We give technical assistance to Jewish communities in Latin America. So depending on the country and depending on the needs, JDC does a different thing. For example, in Chile, uh, JDC helps the Jewish community to be more well-known within the larger society. In Venezuela, for example, JDC has been involved with the local community in getting every single Jew that lives in Venezuela a working passport. Apparently Venezuela was a paradise for Jews. Um, I was told that after Israel it was like the best country to live in. Um, it was a very homogeneous society. Everyone got along very well with each other and there were no differences. This has only been created by, by the President Chavez who wants to please his uh, friends in Iran and other countries that have issues with Israel. So this is the main motivation. Integration and understanding is a challenge in some parts of the region where small Jewish communities are based. People don't actually get um, when, when you cannot go out on a Friday because of Shabbat, because they just don't have that familiarity with it, especially where I was brought up. Um, although it is the first place where Jews arrived in Mexico, there's pretty much a very small Jewish community, so people don't know about it. But clearly this does not stop Jewish Latin Americans from providing a positive contribution to the region. If you travel to Buenos Aires, you're going to find that movie directors, journalists, doctors, uh, therapists, uh, scholars, all coming from a Jewish uh, background. It's a, uh, I don't have to, to say that this to your audience, but it's a typical story of uh, Jewish success and, and deep integration to their host societies. So despite the challenges, it's clear that Jewish life in Latin America continues to thrive as social outreach programs develop. Well, it seems the warm and friendly vibe that characterizes the region has taken hold of tonight's attendees. And indeed, all who've attended have learned something special about the significant role the Jewish community plays in the region. This is Celestina Ololode for JM1 in London.